I sat up in his room and I left him and asked him to sleep. Just because I was worried about him. Um, and I just shared that he had had a close call on the same road recently. So I was just worried about him driving. This is Brittany Embry, whose husband Taylor died in the 2013 crash. She took the stand today as the first witness in a DUI manslaughter case against suspected killer Gustavo De La Cruz. De La Cruz was driving north on Comanche Road near Breckenridge when he allegedly veered into southbound traffic and struck Embry's vehicle head on. The impact caused Embry's vehicle to tear in half. Embry was pronounced dead at the scene. De La Cruz suffered a broken leg in the accident and was arrested for DUI at the hospital. Opening statements preceded Embry's time on the stand. Prosecution focused on De La Cruz's past, which included two DUI convictions before the October 2013 accident. Photos showing beer in De La Cruz's car at the time of the crash were also presented. The defense for De La Cruz argued that there weren't any witnesses to see the crash, so no one can confirm whether De La Cruz swerved into oncoming traffic before hitting Embry's car. There won't be an absolute rule out that it wasn't the Chevrolet that crossed the line first, and then Mr. De La Cruz. Neil Cruz reacting to that emergency situation. Defense also argued that Embry had been working 15-hour days at work and was hardly getting five hours of sleep, resulting in potential fatigue while driving that morning. 23 ABC will keep you up to date on all things on this trial, and you can see all those updates on the 23 ABC News mobile and tablet app. In downtown Bakersfield, Ken Masenchi, 23 ABC.